Hello, Gary Champion in a waiting mode. I've uploaded the video with the phone number to get a free reading. And again, I'm not taking questions. I'm just giving you what I get about the next 30 minutes. On this, officially, Vishivanka Day. <laughs> um, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. It's, it's a lot of whys and things in the It's a traditional shirt embroidery day for people living in Ukraine. And it's traditional um, heritage stuff, nationalism. And for those who don't know, Bunny is a Ukrainian. I'm not sure what Peanut is. He hasn't said. He's pretty quiet about it. He's not in here today because he's been had a barking period <laughs> today, so he's excluded. He he's not he usually winds at the door, but he's not doing that. So this is this is waiting time till you call. And I hope that I've got the volume up and there's not a huge amount of waiting around, which I'm not good at. Anyway, hmm. I'm getting a lot of stuff because I'm opened up here, so but I'm, I'm not sure I can say what I'm doing. Some of it's, I say a lot of stuff to my wife. I did just come out. And, where, where, where did it come from? I don't know. Water stricken west, a lot of drought. I not enough water to go around. So I have to. Mm -hmm. look. Hello? Hi, Gary. This is Francine. Francine, are you a first time caller? I am. That's what they said. First time caller. You're having trouble with your belief system. You're not sure what to believe. Um, is it is there is there someone in your family that you've discovered isn't related to you that you thought was related to you? Uh, not that I know. Hidden secrets. No. Is someone born out of wedlock or they're? Um, I had a brother born out of wedlock. Yes. Um, and but I've always known it. Okay, but um, gee, I hate to say these things. I'm not sure that he's your brother or something like that, or he's a brother from another father or something. The, the true identity of this child is who has uh, restlessness and thoughts of um, harming themselves. I don't know. You have a brother. I had three brothers, and I'm, I'm down to just one now. The, the one that's lost, the one that had something to do with this passing, depression. Mm. <clears throat> he was very depressed after his wife died, yes. Okay. Did that, um, did he do harm himself is what they're saying? Did he do something to harm himself? Not that any of us are aware of, no. How did he pass? Um, natural causes. He was mm -hmm. very ill. I don't think so. I think he did something in his <laughs> life to create this illness. Is he a drinker? No. Um, Very religious. He was a he was an ordained minister. Oh, now it makes sense. He's the one that had a conscience crisis about um, delivering the message or something. Just a nice guy. Um, but lost inside. Con mm. He was continuing to look for the meaning of life. Mm. Was he sheltered in some way, or is it you that sheltered? Is none of this is making sense to you? It's not making any sense no. to me either. 
But uh, no. who's the person that calls himself harm and calls their death? Hey, you got me. I don't know. I have he, no idea. He even talked about it. The funny person. The what? person who was always funny and interesting. And kind of a and kind of a celebrity in his own right, or she, well known. <laughs> I don't know. The heart attack. Uh, no, but it doesn't. No, not unless my brother that was the ordained minister, if he had a heart attack, but they just said it was natural causes because he was so... No, it wasn't a natural you know, cause. It was so much stress. He had a bad heart to begin with. It was weak, and that's a genetic thing. But the stress he put on himself uh, was... Huh. He, he knew what he was doing. Huh. He, he was not willing to give up what he was doing to... I think he even did a stress test, and it didn't show anything. I doubt that he did a stress test. He was um, confined to a wheelchair for years. So who's the person who did a stress test, had a heart attack, and, and uh, something to do with alcoholism and caused their own passing? No alcohol in my family. No, I, I have no idea. Uh, it could be a friend. We're not talking family. Anybody you know could be a friend in this. Someone oh. you knew well. And it's huh. a suicide. Sorry, they're saying it very clearly. Yes. Go ahead. I haven't lost any friends lately. I I don't know. Go back. It's not today. No, I I just know nothing. Who's who is Tom? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Tom, yes. Tom was a rebel rouser. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah, he may have had a heart attack, but they didn't do an autopsy, so I don't know. Yeah, he was, yeah, he wasn't willing to quit drinking. Yeah, and he did die. Yes, yes. My guys are always right. I can misinterpret it, but I have words that come Why from the other side. give me the name? I was good. Yeah, I can't mess up alcoholism. I lived around him growing up. Yes. I can't he, mess up. I'm, yeah, he was definitely an alcoholic. He's around you. He is. He's well, always he's always liked you. Yeah, I always liked Tom and his wife. They we were best friends. And he was his looking. Wife and, he was he married her to save him, and and to some degree, he he understood that you were the person that probably could save him. But he didn't. Did he ever ask you to, in some odd way, to save him? Mm, no, did I he, actually lost contact with him after his wife died. Okay, we're talking about uh, before he died, he was giving things away. Really? Yeah. yeah. He, was, kids, yeah. he was getting rid, yeah. getting rid of things in preparation for passing. Huh. Isn't that interesting? He he broadcast yeah, he it. He broadcast he it. He's, he was hoping somebody could catch that and um, huh. and save him save him and. Um, well, he drove his kids away from him. Of course. Why do you think that yeah, is? So, Why do you think that is? Um, they were, they were hurt. They were really hurt that he did that. Well, why but, did Why uh, do you think he did it? He told them he just wanted to live his life. So well, to yeah, go away and let him live yeah, his but life. that's not oh. it. He wanted to die without them seeing him die. Oh. Hmm. So he pushed them away to save them the pain of watching him die. He did it as a saving thing. He didn't do it to hurt him. It came out that way, but that wasn't the intent. The intent was, I don't want them to see me get worse and worse and worse. And he didn't handle it well. He's saying right now, I didn't handle it well, but I didn't know what else to do. Uh -huh. Okay, I got to go. All right, thank you, Gary. Thanks for calling. Bye. Hello, this is Gary. Hey, Gary, good to talk to you. Well, you haven't, you haven't heard me say anything yet. This is going to be horrible. I guess so. Uh, I, I called because you're doing the free reading, sir. Yes, I love giving free readings. Uh, you're, 
are you at a position of out asking for help from some outside person? Negative. Okay, you do know what I do for a living, right? Yes, sir. I hear dead people. So is it possible you need to be taking advice from people around you who you don't accept advice for? You have a you have a clear mandate. You think you know what you're doing, but you're off base somewhere, and someone's trying to help you. It's in communication. You're not communicating well. Well, I'm doing a a, a project out in West Texas and uh, doing some renewable energy stuff. That's that I could, that's really good stuff. Do you have children? I have a 28 year old son. Is there a communication gap there? No, sir. I'm not a sir. I'm not even a grown up. <laughs> no, not no, no, Gary, not at all. Well, where's it? Where's the difficulty communication then? Communicating with the people you're working with, you have great ideas, but you don't communicate them the way you should. You're leaving mm. parts out. Well, I'm retired, uh, so I'm just doing my own projects. I don't answer to anyone, and but you work I'm, with people. Excuse me. You work with people. You're an idea. Uh, not, You're an idea man. Well, I'm a uh, some I'm kind a of an lone, I'm, I'm a lone wolf. I work work by myself. Who's the I engineer? Do, uh, I'm a chainsaw carver and a carpenter and a kind of a jack of all trades guy. I'd, and, call, uh, I'd call that an engineer. Mm -hmm. You don't respect authority, or you do respect authority. Now, my uh, guys are saying it really clear. I can't, I can't screw this up. You're not communicating the way you should. You're leaving a lot of stuff out. You're not saying things you should say. Well, if there may be something there. You're keeping on, it all in. You're keeping it all in. Well, on a personal relationship kind of level, there may be something there. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm, you know, when you speak to spirits, they just, they say short bursts of sentences. They don't. There's not a lot of explaining going on. Uh -huh. It's true to your heritage, though. Your heritage is one of not showing uh, emotion or who you are. Very yes, close. Ger yeah. German heritage, yes, sir. Yeah, you're very closely guarded and well thought of, but but you don't blab a lot of stuff, and that's part of it. <laughs> People like that you don't talk a lot about personal issues. Everybody knows you have them, but. Who is the closeted person? Uh, closeted. Closeted? There's, I don't know. That sounds sort of like someone coming out as gay or something. No, no one that I know that is gay. No, well, uh, they're closeted. Nobody knows they're gay. Is there someone that's possible that you know that's gay that hasn't come out? No, it's not, I don't believe so. No. I'm kind of, I kind of get an idea about where you're going, but I, I can't really talk about it right right now, but it has nothing to do with gayness or anything. Okay, uh, but you know what I'm talking about. Well, yeah, I, I can kind of get an idea about what you're talking about, but I can't really talk about it over the telephone. Well, see, these are free readings for that purpose, for my listeners to hear. We don't know who you are. We don't, we don't, I don't even know your name. Right. This is an open forum to show what's going on in the world. You're, you're hiding. And if you don't tell me this stuff, there's no point in me talking to you. That's what the whole thing's about. This is not for your convenience. This is to help other people who see uh, that there are answers that can be gotten in other ways. Well, you know, I, I'm, in a, I'm in a long marriage. I've been married 30 years. and Good for you. Maybe, maybe kind of feel like they might be going in a different direction, but I, my, my integrity won't let me. Yeah, it's, it's crashed into the ground. It's crashed into the ground and caught on fire, but you don't let go. Right, just because if I did, then how would I be thought of if I didn't keep my word because I was married, you know? It's a very good point. Do you think anybody cares? Well, maybe my, maybe my family, my mom, and other people around, perhaps. Not so much. You're worried about what they'll think about you, and they don't really think that much about whatever it is you're doing. Well, not only that, but the, what, what am I doing to the feelings of the other person? Well, you need to be honest with what you're, that's what I said, you're holding back, you're, not, you're hiding, and, and this is what we're talking about. 
in my life, my wife knows everything. She knows every thought that's going through my head. And I say a lot of strange stuff, but she knows exactly where I'm at. And if I have a feeling one way or another, I tell her. I don't want these things that I keep, that I would keep from her to get in between us. And that's what happens. You're lying. You're holding back. You're misrepresenting what's going on. And that hurts people more than the truth. And so yeah, if, if I see something that's not right with me, I say it right out. I need to work on that. I need to do that. And this is why, you know, I'm doing something wrong and I'm going to work on it. And and if I, you know what this, they're calling it alienation of affection. That's what they're calling this. Yeah, see, yeah, I can in, see that. In all my 60 something years, I've never heard that, but I'm hearing it today. Dead people don't lie. They have no purpose to. They're so, they're, they're what we're talking about, being honest. You know, yeah, so the idea is just to let go, tell everybody the truth, and damn, if anybody's feelings are hurt, and that's just tough, tough luck. It's more important that you be honest with yourself and honest in the world than it is to hide stuff, because that hurts you. Yes. Right. But yes, I'm saying be honest. And so it doesn't matter if it hurts anybody else to go ahead and just do it. I think you're hurting them more by lying to them. She already knows. Right. Well, I'm not lying. I'm just, I'm just, it just is what it is. Don't you think maybe you deserve a better life too? Sure, sure, sure I do. Then here's a chance. You're letting I, integrity and obligations and words like that fuck up your life. And I'm, yeah, yeah. And that's the man you are. That's the man your father, that's your grandfather. It runs through your family. The determination to do the right thing. And I'm saying you're doing the wrong thing by hiding. Yeah, yeah, it makes all sense. So when I'm saying in the closet, that's you. You're just not being honest about things. It has oh, nothing good. to do with being gay. <laughs> good, yeah. I'm, well, I'm glad I'm the closet guy and it's not somebody well, else. Well, no, no, but a closet can mean all kinds of things. It just means you're hiding. Sure, sure. A lot of kids hide in the closet. You know, They'll never find me here. I'm under the bed. They'll never see me here. So it just means you're, you're hiding the truth from, really, you're not being truthful with yourself. You're not, con you've got a lot of life left to live and a lot of give with someone that you could love. You're not in love with this person anymore. She knows it. Why are you, why are you prolonging this horrible thing? To preserve the feeling, you know, not hurt anybody's feelings. Yeah, well, that doesn't, you are hurting people's feelings by withholding affection and, and not being truthful. It's more hurtful. I'd rather somebody tell me the truth if they hate me than to, than to tell me some lie that I know. Well, see, you can't lie to me. People have tried for 60 years and it's it's never worked. I can read their minds and know when they're lying. You're right. No, I, but I'm not putting up a front like I'm, I'm not yeah. telling, I'm not telling my wife that I, you know, she's the be all end all that I have to always be with her and everything. And well, it's that's, not, that's gone. Yeah. Here's an interesting thought. This is a long thought, but follow me on this. Okay. In the beginning of the country, people didn't live to be 30 years old, and they just died. Women had children until they died. And as time went on, uh, food got better, uh, shelter got better, uh, longevity got better. We began to live longer lives. Instead of having one career, a guy, I mean, we live to be 80, a guy can have three or four careers and all be successful. The same thing happens with, with uh, your spouse. I don't think people are necessarily meant to be together 40 years. I don't think it proves I anything. I don't think it I proves anything. That. I don't think it I proves anything. That. I agree with that. And, I, uh, I think I, that you're, you're glutton for punishment. <laughs> well, soul contracts are soul contracts, and I think they run out. I don't think they're all open-ended. And like, you know, they, they go on forever and ever and ever. That's my opinion, too. Same yeah. thing. You a little different spin on it. Yeah, well, togetherness is not forever. If if you were perfectly in love with your wife for 100 years and died together on the same day, pass to the other side, you don't stay together. Spirits separate. They go different ways. They develop differently. You're not meant to be together for generations and generations it's a one-shot deal that's why when you get it right you feel so lucky you've got it wrong here so tell the truth unburden yourself 
make her see she doesn't feel good about you because you are withholding information you're hiding things so she knows you are so she thinks less of you you think more of you she thinks less of you honest okay i gotta go my phone's ringing like crazy hello hi hey what's your name nora say again pardon me what's your name nora nora mm -hmm. uh you've forgotten more than what most people know <laughs> did you hang up uh oh hello this is gary gary this is pam uh, Kim, is that right? Pam, Pam. Oh, Pam. Pam. Yes. Um, is it a good time for you? It's a good time for me. Yes, it is. Um, someone's singing a Christmas song. It's beginning to look like like Christmas. I just went and bought a car. <laughs> okay, so things are good for you. I just bought it today. Yes, I did. It's not new, but it's new to me, so. Um, my first car was 20 years old and it barely ran, but it was mine. There you go. <laughs> um, you're pretending to be somebody you're not. Yes, I do that a lot. What is this about? You don't like who you are, so you pretend to be somebody else? I may try to make people happy. I'm a people pleaser. Yeah, but um, people know you're lying to them, don't they? When you say, oh, that's a beautiful hairdo you have there. I hope not. <laughs> but apparently they do. Yeah. People, especially women, are intuitive. Yes. And you begin to lie to them over and over again, they know you're just lying to them. Exactly. So you're not making these people... What you're doing is your conscience is, is clear. Yes. What's that old thing about saying something? You don't say anything at all. you got to say something about it. That's something? true. Yes. I you're right. Live, I don't live by that. The last caller is lying to his wife. He no longer oh loves her. He no longer loves her. He's lying to her. Give, yes. me, the, give me the truth. And yeah. you're trying to escape through life. Without yes, really, I am. Uh, and you're intuitive. I thought I was. I wasn't for sure, but I thought I was. You're very intuitive. You just hide it. But you, you are intuitive because, um, and you know the truth when you speak it. So it means okay. you read people well. Yes. I, I can read people pretty good. My husband used to get mad at me. Um, yeah, I went through 14 years of that. Shut yeah. Up, shut up and don't say it. And yeah. I'm fortunate now I have a wife who doesn't like it, who cringes, but doesn't say don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> and um, is somebody ailing? Do you have a grandmother that's passed or is about to pass or something like that? No, everybody in my family has passed. Uh, I had a brother when I was 14 that died in a car accident. Who's the open he, heart surgery? Um, recently. See, I don't deal in that. Okay, my dad had open two open heart surgeries. And did he pass? Yes, he's gone. He died in 2006. Hey, that's the guy who's here. Oh, wonderful! Is he also the smoker? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and who is John? I that I don't know. That's interesting, though. You'll have to write that down. It is somebody else we're talking about, though. John, I don't know a John. I mean, that um, I know of. I'll write it down. Okay. Yeah, that's the name of this guy. Um, John. Are you pacing yourself? I don't quite understand what you mean by that. No, you're not overly exerting yourself, doing too exactly. much. Exactly. You're just sort of yes. laying back. Yes, I am. And waiting for something to happen. True love. Yes, I am. True love has not struck you yet. Really? I thought I had true love. But then again, I had the glasses taken off of my eyes. <laughs> wow. Um, you know, true love is harder for women than men to discover because women are always putting men first. Yes. And that, feels, that was my problem. Yeah, and that feels like love, but it's not. You had some nasty narcissistic uh, user. Oh, yes, I did. And uh, you stood in it too long. I did. I agree with you. Rather than hurting his feelings, you let yes. things go. Yes, yes, yes. And with passing time, you see what a mistake. All the years you wasted. 
Yes. It's not too I, late to, you start it again, right? Yes. Uh, is this considered a perfect marriage? I haven't remarried, no. I haven't. The one that I had, I had the one, and no, it was not, like you said, it was narcissistic. So I'm saying true love has not found you yet. No, it has not. Well, you said it, it, that you thought well, you had Well, I to thought that. he was my true love. Well, you were wrong. I was wrong. Yes, that, believe me. Your intuitive was... self was always telling you there's something really bad here. Okay. Which is why they're telling you your first impression was right. Yeah. That you yeah. continued to live a lie until it just ate you up. Yes, and he finally passed away in 2015. He had a heart condition. Did he? I kind of figured he did. I really did. Yeah. He ended up with he had ended up with stomach cancers. What got him? But, See the one yeah. with asthma. He had problems. Yes, he did. They see the heart failure, heart attack is what killed him. The cancer oh. was a uh, what caused the heart attack. The heart attack what killed him. Okay, I did not know that. Yeah, the cancer ate at everything till nothing worked. Okay. And he had breathing problems, long term breathing. Issues. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And you thought you'd stick with him because. You honor the thing or whatever. Yes. And, uh, oh, my goodness, yes. Yeah, you can't do that. Life is too freaking short. <laughs> Life's too short to spend it. You Doing know, that. I know yeah. that now. Yeah. If I had another life, I'd be great, but I don't. <laughs> well, it's never too late. That's true. You're right. I'd like to use a Colonel Sanders exhibit, but it's been used too much. <laughs> it's a matter of what you want, you know. Right. Your life should be about you instead of them. I'm trying to live that way now. I'm trying to. Your instincts are very good. Pardon? Your instincts are very good. Yes. Try living moment to moment. Okay. Oh, well, what they're showing me is something different. They're showing you a bumper car. Hmm. And uh, life is like being in a bumper car. You bump into yeah. people. Uh, you say hello, maybe you say, hey, you want to get a drink? Bumper cars, you bump into yeah. people, and uh, you're waiting for the right bumper car. Huh. I honestly didn't think I would ever find anybody. I was content with being by myself. Yes, but when you say, I don't think I'll ever find anybody, you're sending that out. Huh. You're manifesting nothing. <laughs> okay. And it's your okay. fault. And it's my fault. You're right. Yeah, I just taught a class of manifesting. You should have taken it. It would have helped you. Oh, wow. You manifest the people. Uh, actually, attract. Uh, uh, a like attracts like. Right, right. And uh, But you didn't want that. You wanted to save somebody, so that's why you got this. Guy. Yes, you're right. Okay, my time is up. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Hello, this is Gary. Whoops. Wait a minute. Hello, this is Gary. Uh-oh, wait a second. I can't get it to go. Uh, wait a second, I can't get it to... Crap. Phone failure. Hello? Hi, my name is Kelly. Is this Gary? 